Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. Uh, I'm so thankful you guys were able to land upon this video today because we have some very, very interesting information. Now, this is more on the side of XRP, not Ripple. And I know you guys, just as much as me, you like the XRP information a lot more than just the Ripple. <clears throat> so... Let's go ahead and get into it today. So the title of this video stated HSBC's Saab Bank using XRP as a liquidity solution document arises. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Overall cryptocurrency market today, guys, I am loving it. Uh, XRP, you know, a little over 2%, not really, you know, nothing too crazy. But what I am seeing is a trend is altcoin starting to get some more significant gains. Although the foundation of the developers behind it clearly stated, we are cutting development. We've run out of funding. We're shutting down operations. We're no longer developing on it, but it somehow results in a 23% rise. So an irrational move to the upside, but at the same time, I love seeing any altcoin. I don't even have to own it. If I see an altcoin with double digit percentage gains, that to me is a good sign. I like that. I like seeing altcoins in the double digit percentage gains because that can help spread, if you know what I mean. It can spread to other currencies as well. IOTA in the double digit percentage gains as well. So glad to see alts taking a little bit more of a stand forward compared to Bitcoin. <clears throat> so let's get into today's information. Today's info comes from King Solomon yet again. Man, if you guys are on Ripple XRP Twitter, uh, in my opinion, this is definitely a follow. This account right here, in my opinion, it kind of falls right along with, you know, Bank XRP, XRP Research Center, that kind of thing, Stored XRP, where they just consistently, like you guys know what I'm talking about, the members of the community that consistently put out nice information out there uh, on Twitter. So again, definitely a big follow. I've been using this guy a lot for information on videos and articles lately. So again, big, big credit to him. So this is front page, uh, Al Bilad Press, uh, August 4th, 2019. And uh, Al Bilad, which I do think, uh, meaning, okay, so meaning the country. I say, okay, so at first I thought it meant like the daily, but it means the country uh, in Arabic. So this is a daily newspaper uh, that is published in Bahrain. Interesting, right? So uh, the Middle East is one of the geographic locations in which Ripple does have a lot of progress in, uh, just like Southeast Asia. We heard that Southeast Asia, Middle East, that is like the two number one regions for Ripple net development. So let's read into what King Solomon has for us. Saab announced at the financial sector conference, uh, launch instant transfer, a network-based payment infrastructure, Ripple, which is made through XRP as a liquidity solution. And he goes, did Sab mention XRP or just Ripple? Because you have to keep in mind, media revolving around crypto isn't always going to be correct. You know, that, that's just a fact. That's one thing we do have to consider. So he says down here, to clear up this post, I'm asking if Sab ever announced XRP usage. I remember their statement stating Ripple, not XRP. I remember that as well. It was just Ripple um, and not really XRP. But at the same time, Sab uh, was working along with the Saudi Monetary Authority and Ripple along with another bank, I believe Axis Bank in India, to open up the India to Middle East corridor. Now again, XRP would, be, would work perfectly for that. So what we do know is that they officially stated Ripple, not XRP. But I remember Margin Delatine's LinkedIn account said something like, oh, hey, welcome Saab to, you know, X Rapid. Then they changed it to X Current really quick. So that's something to really know. And this guy right here who does have a Arabic, uh, an Arabic Twitter name. So I imagine he, he probably, he probably can read and understand this. Uh, he says, yes, XRP is mentioned winky face. And then, yeah, we go into the Google translations here and he says, you can read it in English on the end of the first paragraph. So he's even validating it. Uh, as I, I imagine an Arabic speaker, uh, can actually, uh, read this document and say that, yes, XRP is clearly mentioned in this, uh, news publication that was made public on August 4th, 2019. So he links us to the official press. And I got to say, from the standpoint of a really small kind of startup media, I mean, this is like legit 
newspaper media. Like you can just see that by the format and the arrangement. I mean, this is a full on real press operation that was actually founded uh, back in 2008. So what can we see? Uh, unfortunately, I cannot read this to you guys uh, directly, but we can see that they clearly make us know for the English speakers that XRP is mentioned. All right. Now, if we go over and we get a rough translation from AI, here is what we get. You see, so at the financial sector, and again, you're going to see a lot of grammatical errors and a lot of uh, just choosing the wrong words because, again, this is an AI translating the document, so it's not that accurate, but we can still get the gist of what was being said in the original language. Now, this is where it gets important. So it says, Rebel Ripple which I, I, I want to say they maybe have said, like, I don't know. I don't know what's rebel for because like later in this actual little piece right here, it refers to rebel. And as like, see, it says like that year in December, as you continue to cooperate with rebel for the application of blockchain or blockchain, <laughs> blockchain technology. So I think when they're referring to rebel, I think it means ripple. I don't know if like ripple in Arabic means like rebel or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, here is the real, real juicy bit that I came here today to show you guys. So rebel ripple blockchain. Uh, so it's clearly ripple blockchain, uh, which is done through, I want to say the use of XRP digital currency as a, it says solvency, but liquidity solution. So the whole real roughly translated sentence is the ripple blockchain uh, which is done through the XRP digital currency uh, as a liquidity solution. And we have here uh, from people in the reply section of King Solomon well, that the direct English translation was this. SAB announced at the financial sector conference launch instant transfer a network-based payment infrastructure, Ripple, which is made through XRP as a liquidity solution. So... Are they acknowledging that the Ripple infrastructure uses XRP or are they trying to say that SAB is using XRP? So that's the real question here. And honestly, I got to be frank with you guys. I'm not entirely sure. I would like the community to do more investigation on this. That's why I'm bringing it up to you guys so we can, as a community, come together and really figure out what this means. Because I would like to get an actual translation from someone who's bilingual so we can get a, a, a real translation, not just an AI. Because it seems like what they're talking about, like, hey, at this conference, uh, Saudi, the British bank, around SAB, they launched this instant conversion service, which is a network-based payment infrastructure with the Ripple blockchain, uh, which is done through XRP digital currency as a liquidity solution. So that's what we do need to know. This could be a, a press release that on, on October 4th, 2019, that does confirm perhaps that the Saudi British bank is indeed using XRP. I think they'd be smart in doing so. And by the way, HSBC has majority stake in Saudi British bank. So in a way, it sort of is a subsidiary of the big tier one HSBC bank. So why would the press mention XRP though? That's my question. We really, really got to get not a rough AI translation, but we need a real, real translation from someone in the community. So if any of you watching this video, if you are very, very fluent in Arabic, please uh, make a tweet out on Twitter, send me a DM, tag me, and I can retweet it like crazy because I would love to get a traditional translation here, not through the power of the internet, because I think the power of the internet is giving us a bit of a choppy sentence that really isn't stating anything. However, guys, I am saying that this has the potential to be maybe revealing that Sab Bank could be using the digital asset XRP because why even mention it? You know, why even really mention it at that point if Sab didn't plan on using on it? Or are they just saying, hey, Ripple, uh, you know, use the Ripple network, which can use XRP. So we really got to know what this is saying because this potentially could be a very very massive breadcrumb. But the real key here that made me think that, hey, Stab could be using XRP is the very end part, which is which is made through XRP as a liquidity solution. So it's saying the network-based payment infrastructure Ripple is made and is viable and is efficient because of going through XRP as a liquidity solution. So this financial media could be cluing us in to Stab Bank actually using XRP or having plans to use XRP. So 
What we need to do is I will update you guys, but we need to get a much, much better translation of this because again, I really, really want to know what this means in, in, in its traditional language because I feel like this AI translation is not giving me an accurate statement because just like the same thing, this is why having Crypto Eddie is amazing with our SBI news because you can translate things from a Japanese SBI uh, quarterly report. And if you put it into Google, the words that come out don't even make any sense. So if we can get someone who is bilingual with Arabic and English, I think we could have the breadcrumb of a lifetime potentially. So what I'm telling you guys now is we don't know for sure. It is very, very interesting why XRP would even be mentioned and not just the Ripple blockchain with X current. So we need to know what's actually being said here. Once I have more information, I will update you guys, hopefully, on tomorrow's stream. All right, guys, so pretty, pretty cool information. A major Bahrain newspaper uh, citing SAB, Ripple, and XRP. What could be going on here? We really need to know what this means. You guys, man, an HSBC subsidiary, a tier one bank subsidiary using XRP would be absolutely massive. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning the video today. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you do smash the like, subscribe, check the links in the description if you don't want to support the channel. Uh, make sure you do smash the like and subscribe. Uh, get Legend OS, keep the cryptocurrency nice, safe, and offline. Check below the description, check out some sweet Ripple XRP merch, and I'll see you guys in the next one.